Hey guys, it's me again. Anyways, um, I'm checking in again. Um, uh, right now, um, I'm, uh, I got a call from my recruiter. Not now, uh, of course, like a while ago. Um, I got a call from my recruiter, and um, three jobs were open, and out of all three jobs, I think it's like knowledge operation systems, knowledge operation specialist. Um, geospatial intelligence and um, something. Anyways, um, out of those three jobs, he asked me to pick one. I really didn't want to pick one because, hold on, let me take a drink. Okay, sorry guys, my mouth is getting dry. But um, I really didn't want to pick one because those were. Uh, for my previous video, you would know those weren't none of the ones that I chose or none of the ones that I wanted. So, um, I was pretty iffy about choosing a job. But I have heard that people who don't choose a job or whatever get, um, uh, like, it takes them longer. And I've heard stories about people waiting up to years or whatever to find a job and to get in the Air Force. And so... I'm thinking, like, if I want to cross train or I want to change it, then I can change it later in the future or whatever. But, um, like, for now, these are for sure jobs. And so um, I looked all of them up on the online, and then I called them back, and I told them that um, I, would, uh, I wouldn't mind geospatial, anal I mean, geospatial intelligence. Um, what that is, I found out really was just looking at, uh, satellite imagery and stuff like that and I heard it was pretty boring but you get 39 college credits and you get um and you get a security clearance and I wasn't sure I wasn't even sure what a security clearance was I had heard a lot about it but basically you get access to like all the top secret stuff or whatever that's going on with the United States um which doesn't really interest me anyways but um yeah, so um, I got picked. I mean, I picked geospatial intelligence. It seemed, it seemed something like it was real smart or whatever to do, and that you know, 39 college credits wouldn't hurt. So, um, I looked at it or whatever, and um, as time is going by, I'm thinking, like, um, I shouldn't have picked that. Like, that don't seem like nothing I would be interested in, even though it is 39 college credits. Like, what I don't even know what civilian job that that goes into at all. I don't know if there's even a civilian job for that. I think you have to even say in the uh, federal, like in the government um, type job to even get a job that has to do with geospatial intelligence. But, um, so, but I also know that I enlisted open general, so the job that I chose or whatever isn't really for sure what I will have. I can still change my job after basic training I found out. So I'm not really pressed about the job that, that I picked or whatever because I can still change it at basic because I did go in this open general and, um, and I can still change it. So hopefully um, I'm still gunning for security forces or um, or a services job. Um, I lost my train of thought. But, uh, no. Um, hopefully I go in as something, hopefully, I'm, I'm still planning on picking the security forces job. But back to the, um, topic of discussion. Um, my basic training date is November 6th. I repeat, November 6th is my basic training date. Um, I don't feel like I'm physically fit at all. Like, as I'm sitting here going through, um, and being in depth, well, not really depth no more because I do have a, a basic date or whatever, but with being a depper, um, I have gained a couple pounds. Like, I don't feel like I'm physically fit at all. I joined the gym or whatever, and like, um, I, not, nah, I'm just gonna be honest, like, I haven't been going. Um, I usually do like my little workout workouts at home before I go to work in the morning, but. Um, that's, I know that that's not enough, and so, like, these next two months, I'm going to get on my A-game, I'm going to physically train, 
right now I'm at 144 I don't look like it but I trust me I am um, I'm 5'3", and I'm 144 pounds, and my recruiter did not believe the freaking scale because I look so small. And he's like, you're not 144 pounds, you, where is it at? Um, yeah, it's there, trust me, it's there. So, um, yeah, I have to maintain my weight this whole time. I haven't really been going out to, like, no parties or anything, just because, um, you, it's a lot of accidents happen and you go to a party and somebody push you or something next thing you know you're getting into a fight and the police come and a, that's a law violation you can't have no law violations trying to go into the military so I just stay at home I play it safe I stay at home I go to work um I exercise I eat I stay at home I keep it I keep it I keep it at home just to, just to be on the safe side so um I've been staying at home or whatever. Like I said, I am going to get on my A-game and get physically fit for uh, basic training, of course. I've been trying to find other people who are also who also want to enlist or or um have already enlisted and is and is also scheduled for basic training in November on my exact basic training date or it could be a different basic training date. Like just who just somewhere around that time or whatever. So I know because I do want to get connected with other Air Force people, and that's basically what I've been trying to do besides watching other people's YouTube videos and vlogs. That's what I'm interested in. I do have a friend um, who also wanted to enlist with me. I'm not sure if the buddy system is going on anymore, but uh, I enlisted already, and I got a friend who just popped up and was like, oh, I'll, you enlisted in the Air Force? I want to enlist with you. I'm like, I enlisted already. She's like, oh. Um, I still want to enlist. I don't know if the, they still have a buddy system or whatever, but, um, I hope that even though we're not enlisting at the same time, that's just, that we can still find a way to go to basic training with each other. We don't have to, I know people say, um, the buddy system isn't guaranteed or whatever, because after basic training, you guys could go anywhere. And I'm fine with that. Like, I would rather just have somebody to go to basic training with and then somebody that I could just, like, keep in touch with. You know, while I'm in the Air Force, knowing that, you know, they're in the Air Force, too. And my friend is one of those people. So if anybody else has any information on the buddy system, please inbox me, comment, whatever. Let me know because I want to know more information about the buddy system. If it, if it even exists. Any, whatever. I heard there's a limited buddy system. It says so on the Air Force uh, website, unless they haven't updated it in forever. It's still up there that there is a limited Air Force buddy system that'll... Uh, basically put you in another uh, Air Force um, Air Force trainee in a in the same boot camp boot camp and the same basic training with each other so yeah if anybody has any any information on that let me know this is just my uh, third vlog for you guys the last one was about MEPS this one is about being a depper and we um, the, uh, the MOS that I want, the MOS that I chose, and when I'm going to basic. Um, I'll probably have more videos um, going throughout, um, just keeping track of my progress, my weight, to keep on checking in. If any of you guys have questions and answers, you know, I wouldn't mind doing those either. But to keep you guys informed on how my journey is going. Um, anything else, like I said, just ask. I'm open to all questions and questions. No matter how stupid you think they are, I'm open to them. So, yeah. Um, my name is Deja Renee. Uh, I joined the Air Force, and I'm checking out.